You remember last night we talked a little bit about uh, Governor LePage? Well, his rationale for taking down murals in the Department of Labor in Maine is that they have had complaints. Do you hear the S? Complaints. That it creates a... Uh, 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 it creates a well. It, it makes business people uncomfortable to see all of those, uh, see see remembrances of all of those workers standing on their hind legs. Interestingly, when pressed for it, uh, Governor LePage, who proudly admits that when he was a child he would throw rocks at French Canadians, I guess you got to be proud of something. He said. Well, here, here it is. Here it is. This is why. This is why we're doing it. See, I got this here fax. I got this fax. And he hand and and, he, and they they pass out this thing. Governor uh, addressed to the Honorable uh, Paul R. LePage. Dear Governor LePage, welcome to Augusta. You are doing a great job. Keep it up. The purpose of my letter is to express by, by disbelief, not my disbelief, by disbelief. You know, even when they're dummying up stuff, they still can't spell. The purpose of my letter is to express by disbelief of what I saw at the main Department of Labor offices in Augusta during a recent visit. While sitting in the lobby, I had the opportunity to study a very large mural which adorns the lobby area. In this mural, I observed a figure which closely resembles the former commissioner of labor. In studying the mural, I observed that this mural is nothing but propaganda to further the agenda of the union movement. I felt for a moment that I was in communist North Korea, where they use these murals to brainwash the masses. Mr. Lee Page, with all due respect, I must say, Mr. All caps, Mr. Lee Page, please tear down this mural. Oh, oh, isn't that sweet? He's kind of he's he's kind of playing with the words of Saint Ronnie of Ray Gun, which is appropriate. Uh, seeing as how we're busy killing Libyan people right now, and Saint Ronnie of Ray Gun was a leader in that by killing a three-year-old baby. Again, thank you for your candor and fresh approach to state government. Keep up the good work. No signature. And remember, they said it was a fax. But here's the fun part. If you ever gotten a fax, you know that there's a banner at the top of the fax that gives the phone number it comes from, the name of the organization, yada, 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 and the date, of, the date and time of transmission. None of that was apparent. It wasn't... Not, not, oh, stop with the gobbledygook language, Bob. It wasn't not apparent. It wasn't there! And it wasn't there because it didn't exist. It wasn't there because this is a dummied up, faked up, frauded up, ginned up, rubed up piece of crap. That mural is nothing but propaganda. I felt for a minute that I was in communist North Korea. Really? I've seen pictures of the murals, and there's no Korean script on it. And everybody isn't walking around in boring gray clothing. And, oddly enough, everybody in the murals is not Korean! Yeah, no transmission time, no transmission date. And it's, uh, apparently, uh, it is, uh, s uh, purports to be from a Secret admirer. Well, if you're a secret admirer, why does it why does it have to be a secret? I mean, is this another one of those uh, repiglic and hypocritical, you know, log cabin things? Well, there, uh, the Governor LePage, Governor LePage is now scrambling. Um, LePage's spokesperson was apparently even a little bit embarrassed by it all and told TPM that uh, the LePage administration was not trying to give validity to the sentiments in the facts. 
there has thus far not been a single whit, not an iota, of public opposition to the existence of the murals. What we're dealing with here is basically the American Taliban. Do you remember those magnificent statues of the Buddha that had been carved into hollowed out rock spaces in the cliff sides of Bamiyan in Afghanistan that had stood at the intersection of a major trade route through Central Asia for centuries upon centuries, perhaps millennia. They were doing no one any harm. They were just art. But when you are insistent upon ideological purity, even something as innocuous and silent as a statue or a painting cannot be tolerated. And so it is, so it was, that the Taliban in Afghanistan put dynamite charges under the Buddha because their own god was too weak to tolerate the presence of a piece of carven rock. And so it is with the American Taliban and Governor Paul LePage that his ideology is so craven and so weak as to be unable to tolerate the presence, the mere presence in a public building of a representation of working people standing up for themselves in a building that houses a department dedicated to the well-being of working people. This is how fascism behaves. This is how empire behaves. You know, God, I didn't mean for it to be empire week on the horn. It just kind of turned out that way, didn't it? Mr. LePage, tear down this mural. And by the way... <laughs> With this story creating no small amount of controversy, the LePage administration in Maine is having to back into a bit of a corner. Everything from local newspapers in Maine all the way to the New York Times reported that the complaint, you know, the tear down this mural thing that I read you, that it was a fax. All these news organizations described it as a fax because the governor's office had described it as a fax. But now the uh, uh, LePage says, well, that's not a fax. That's a letter. See, it's a letter. That's why there's no fax banner on it, because it's a letter. Liars. Liars. Nothing but a gang of repulsive, re re repellent liars. And just as the Taliban in Afghanistan, in fact, did blow up the Bamiyan Buddhas, I would give you eight to two odds that the LePage administration will tear down those murals. Because they don't give a tinker's damn for what anyone thinks. They have an agenda to advance, and they will advance it at all costs. And they will do anything to get their way. Fraud is in the way of how, of how Repiglicans operate. And it puts us at a, at a distinct disadvantage, because where on our side we like to use things like facts, and we like to argue from the, 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 the standpoint of, 
what is factually correct and what is fluid word, I admit, true. Truth is meaningless, utterly and absolutely meaningless to a bunch of no-goods whose only goal is the acquisition and further enhancement of power. 